Now, before we get into the fasting mimicking diet in regard to reversing type 1 and type 2 diabetes, the benefits of a fasting mimicking diet seem to go even beyond type 1 and type 2 diabetes and to many disease-related conditions. But let's check out this first chart because it's actually really kind of cool. You see the chart right there? You see the red line at 100% survival? You see the FMD? That's obviously standing for fasting mimicking diet. You had a 100% survival rate compared to the test group, so to say, of animals, where you only had about a 60% survival rate after a certain period of time. Also, too, check the bullet points down below. Every time you see FMD, that means fasting mimicking diet. But if you look at the top one right there, may reverse type 1 and type 2 diabetes. That's the amazing part. But let's get right into the research, and you'll understand a lot more in regard to in a second. Now, fasting mimicking diet, to define, basically what it was or what it is, is what researchers developed a certain type of diet paradigm, which revolved low protein, I know I don't like the word low protein, and low carbohydrate but high fat, designed in such a way to where it's easy on your digestive system and your other internal organs, to where it actually mimics a fast, it causing a lot of your organs to basically have an opportunity to rest and therefore heal. It's got to write the research. Again, this is the title that was published and I'm not going to add lip much because there's no reason you have to because the research is fascinating on its own. But let us begin. Fasting mimicking diet may reverse diabetes type 1 and type 2. In a study and another study on human pancreatic cells, which was a test tube, uh, research discovered that a scientifically designed fasting diet can trigger the generation of new pancreatic cells in type 1 and to replace dysfunctional ones and stabilize blood glucose. Another highlight, fasting mimicking diet induces the, the, what's called the prenatal development gene expression in the adult pancreas, meaning it's like your cells go back to the beginning and then they start over again from when they used to work. Two, we also, not we, but the researchers themselves, reactivated insulin production in human pancreatic cells from type 1 diabetes patients. That's the part that amazed me. A lot of diets claim to help with type 2 diabetes, but type 1 and type 2, that is a spectacular discovery. Now keep in mind too, I want before I begin, there's a COI in there which I'm not too comfortable with, but the research is pretty well detailed and therefore I don't mind bringing it to your attention. Three, in consideration of challenges and side effects associated with prolonged fasting in humans, researchers developed a low calorie, low protein, low carbohydrate, a high fat four day fasting mimicking diet, otherwise known as FMD we discussed, that causes changes in the levels of specific growth factors, glucose and ketone bodies, similar to those caused by water only fasting. That's the really, really cool part that they got this diet down to be very similar to the body as if you were only taking water itself, but yet you still get a chance to eat something and get some calories. All right, let's go right into the study parameters. As follows, citation, fasting mimicking diet promotes NGN3 driven beta cell regeneration to reverse diabetes. Funding, as you can see above, there's a COI in there I'm not comfortable with, but however though, the research is in detail, so I don't mind publishing it. Study participants were as animals as well as human pancreatic cell lines. Study length, lower live animals. Study length, six to eight cycles of FMD, a fasting mimicking diet, and refeeding were required to restore the beta cell mass and insulin secretion function and to return the six hour fasting blood glucose, glucose to nearly normal levels. Dosage and materials, we'll look in the next screen because it's a lot. Results, reversing insulin resistance and depletion to quote, in type 1 and late stage type 2 diabetes, the pancreas loses insulin producing beta cells, increasing instability in blood sugar levels. The study showed a remarkable reversal of diabetes in mice placed in the fasting mimicking diet for four days each week. They regained healthy insulin production, reduced insulin resistance, and demonstrated more stable levels of blood glucose. This was the case even for mice in the later stages of disease. To keep on going, the diet cycle switched on genes in the adult mice that are normally active only in the developing pancreas of fetal mice. So you see what I mean? It kind of brings all the cells back to the beginning stage, like stem cells, so to say. The genes set off production of a protein called neurogenin, or NGN3, genin, uh, thus generating new healthy insulin-producing beta cells. So what happened is 
these cells basically re started to reform the beta cells that were needed. Now you'll understand more in a second too, when the researchers looked at the cells of the pancreas and the animals, they just found a bunch of cells sitting around doing nothing. Not producing this, that, or anything, just basically blank cells. They were there, but for whatever reason, the pancreas wasn't turning them into beta producing cells or getting rid or culling the defective cells, which were doing nothing, in place putting beta cells. But let's begin. All right, as follows. The diet, as I promised. If you look at the diet, for example, the research did a great job of putting down the sources, and that's the animal diet itself, which pretty much looks like a pretty darn good human diet. They put all the sources on there, the grams given the animals, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, the fatty acids, which one I take myself, so to say. Really kind of a cool, healthy diet overall, but one that is easy on the system, that mimics a water fast, yet it is food. So if we go to the next part as follows to summarize what the researchers discovered. Now keep in mind though, the COI I don't like is the fact that the researchers have developed a product which they can market to hospitals that can help. But however though, research again, to reiterate, is great research. And if it works, that's gonna come out and use in the studies to follow. So as we go further, the other fascinating notes in regard to the study is as follows. It, oh, by the way, when translating to human amounts in regard to that uh, diet, when you looked at those ingredients there, in human amounts, it comes out about 700 to 1100 calories, depending on the size and amount of food consumed. Other fascinating notes, in diabetic mice, the majority of cells residing in the islets express neither insulin nor glucagon. So keep that in mind, the cells were just doing nothing until the fasting mimicking diet kicked in. And for whatever reason, the body knew, of these animals at least, to reprogram those cells or get rid of those cells and put into place beta producing or insulin producing cells, henceforth reversing the disease condition. Another possibility as we stated is that the fasting mimicking diet may cause cell death and then stimulate progenitor, progenitor or the cells regenerate B cells. In conclusion, there's so much information. I'd love to be able to go on further in regard to timing, food types, and so on and so forth. But the main thing is to get the gist of the research and then explore on your own. But to conclude, the results indicate that a fasting mimicking diet promotes the reprogramming of pancreatic cells to restore insulin generation in islets from T1D patients to type one diabetic patients and reverse both type one diabetes and type two diabetes phenotypes in mouse models. Not a drug, not surgery, not a stem cell replacement, literally just basically fasting or fasting mimicking diet for whatever reason causes the body to reproduce the proper cells where they need to be. Again, I hope you find this information of use. If you have any references or whatever it is to certain diets that you notice are the fasting mimicking diet that are out there, uh, feel more than free to post it down below in the video. But again, I find, hope you find this information of use, and I look forward to seeing you all again in seven days. Thank you very much, as always, and I hope this information works well for you. Catch you all next time. Thank you. Bye.